Kim Gordon and Elaine Graham pulling off at the start of this international, the 1980 Wembley International. The whistle goes straight away for a hit to England just inside their half. It's going to be taken by Rosie Sykes. Trying to find Sue Slocum, but a bit too far in front of her. And a kick there by the Scotland number four, Marietta Craigie. Now Valerie Robinson inside the 22 metre line and the ball going over for a 16 yard hit. Gideon McIntyre with the hit. The whistle goes again for a hit just inside the 25. Now a chance for England. Tim Gordon on her own, fighting away into the circle, just trying to do a little bit too much. But Mary Grimley has it out on the left. Here comes her centre. It's a good pass to suit Rosie Sykes. Sykes with a short one to Holden. Holden into the circle and she's obstructed on her way into the circle. And it's another short corner given against Scotland. England's third short corner, Mary Grimley hitting out. The hand stop by Eckersall. Here comes the shot from Stokem. She has another chance. Can she get a shot in? No, she can't. But another penalty corner awarded for England, Mary Grimley is going to hit the ball out. Mary Eckersall with a hand stop, and it's not stopped cleanly. Rosie Sykes with a shot, a shot from Margaret Sue Yard. It's cleared by Ginty Stewart, and another short corner awarded. So tremendous pressure here by England on the Scottish defence, and another short corner. Once again, it's Mary Grimley hitting out to Mary Eckersall with a hand stop. Here's the shot. But the Scottish defence coming off the line before the ball had been hit out. So the corner, the penalty corner will be retaken. Mary Grimley with a hit out. Here comes the shot from Slocum and a chance for England, but just saved in the Scottish defence and then a kick in front of goal, giving the hit to Scotland. Suyav getting her centre in but uh, too far in the undercut and that constitutes dangerous play so Evelyn Raystrick the Scottish umpire giving the hit Scotland's way McIntyre to Graham. Good tackle by Rosie Sykes. Not such a good pass though. But Mary Grimley has it on the left and she's obstructed just outside the circle. That will be a hit to England. So hit to England just outside the circle. The hit taken by Mary Grimley. Finding Mar Margaret Suyav. Got a good interception there. Barbara Holden with the hit for England just outside the circle. Saved by Ginty Stewart. Marietta Craigie, good, good pass by her to McCullum, but an equally good interception by Eckersall. 
Two yards inside, it's off to England, and just wide! With Val Robinson just wide with that shot. It must have missed the right-hand post by six inches when she was right through. So a very good run by Val Robinson, and just missing an England score. Mario de Craigie for Scotland, finding Graham, back to Graham with a shot and a save by Pauline Gibbon, right in front of the goalpost, and the whistle has gone for an England hit. So really that was the first attack by Scotland and Pauline Gibbon making a fine save in the England goal. Janet Burrows to Mary Eckersall. <laughs> Norma Kerr across field. Finding Borman. Borman into the England circle, trying to get her centre in. It's cleared by Burrows. And now Sue Stoken coming away for England in the inside left position. And she's barged off the ball, but advantage is played. Val Robinson into the circle, but she's obstructed just outside. So it will be a hit to England, just outside the 25, the Scotland 25, taken now by Rosie Sykes. And more obstruction by the Scots defence, that was Marietta Craigie and Susan McVicker. And another hit to England, quickly taken by Rosie Sykes, trying to find the gap, but nobody there. Mary Eckersall with the hit. Downfield to Tim Gordon. Well intercepted. Picked up by Margaret Suyard, trying to centre the ball. And an England hit just outside the circle, taken by the captain, Margaret Suyard. And the hit has been reordered, it's got to be taken again. Margaret Suyard just outside the circle. Straight up the goal into the back of the net, start of course, the ball hits from outside the circle, so the goal doesn't count. If somebody got a stick to it inside the circle, that would have opened the scoring. Winnie McCullum coming away to Scotland, but she fouls, and it's a hit by Mary Eckersall. Joan Doby and Grimley totally unmarked on the left now she's got to get a good centre in here here it comes finding Margaret Suyard Sykes back to Suyard now can she get her centre in there it goes and it's a good one and it'll go behind for a long corner of Jill McIntyre's stick Mary Grimley finding Sue Yard to Eckers Hall but the whistle's gone
a bad mistake in the England fence there. Chance has got in his frame. This time it's Borrowman, but a short corner awarded for a kick in the circle there by Linda Carr. So Scotland's first penalty corner is going to be hit out by Winnie McCullum. Elan Borrowman with the strike in now. And the corner has been ordered to be taken again. So once again it's Winnie McCullum hitting out. Elan Borrowman just waiting there to strike the ball in. Or attempt to. Here comes her shot but the ball wasn't stopped dead as it must be, but the whistle hasn't gone, they're playing on, and the ball goes into the side netting, but that seemed to me to be a very bad hand stop, the ball went forward off the hand at least six inches. But mainly Scotland's attacks have been spasmodic, but in turn have been very dangerous, and Pauline Gibbon, England's goalkeeper, has four times saved brilliantly from these breakaway attacks. And still England on the attack, and another penalty corner, England's eighth, and they haven't changed the tactics at all yet. The manoeuvre has been in all seven short corners exactly the same, but now they are changing. They're taking it from the other side, from their right-hand side. It's Margaret Suyav, the England captain, who is going to hit out the right winger, and Val Robinson in inside right position stops the ball now. Can she get a shot in? No, she can't. Doesn't stop the ball cleanly. Out to Suyav. Suyav across the centre of the goal, and there is the first England goal. The first England goal, and it's scored by Sue Slocum. So although Sue couldn't score from a penalty corner, she made no mistake at all with that goal. The hit out by Margaret Suyav, pushing the ball across the front of the goal. Now let's have a look at that goal. And you see Margaret Suyav's hit is returned back to Val Robinson. Her through pass to Suyav across the circle and Sue Slocum brilliantly taps the ball home. And the Scottish defence now under tremendous pressure. Mary Harris, the umpire, just having a word. Just having a word and uh, telling the players to cool it down a bit. And the players go off at the halfway stage with England leading Scotland with that goal by Sue Slocum at this stage by one goal to nil. And now we wait for the bully off at the beginning of the second half. It's Kim Gordon, number nine, bring them centre forward. Kim uh, is 20, she's a bank clerk from Loughborough, plays for the Loughborough Club. And straight away she's obstructed as she's trying to go through but the uh, award goes against her. Mary Harris, the England umpire from Essex, giving that against England. And here is Jill McVicker with the hit. Elaine Graham, number six for Scotland. It's well picked up by Linda Carr. Downfield. Margaret Suyav on her own, England captain into the circle, a chance for England and a tremendous save by Ginty Stewart. And the whistle blows so Scotland can breathe again. Ginty Stewart, who is Scotland's second goalkeeper in fact, although she's rated higher than Ellen Patterson, who is in the Great Britain squad. But she plays today and one can quite see why after that magnificent save, because Margaret Suyav was clear. Scotland push, taken by Marietta Craigie. And obstruction, that will be a hit against England, just outside the England circle. Against Scotland, rather, taken by Suyard to her right to Eckes Hall, but Mary Eckes Hall wasn't far enough away from the hit, so she takes it herself into the circle. Rosie Sykes, who's had a fine game at centre-half for England. Square to Eckes Hall. Trying to find Suyav. And when you hear this uh, rather strange sounding noise, it's in fact 
uh, the whistle, the umpire's whistles, there are two umpires in hockey, one in each half, and because of the tremendous noise here at Wembley by the 65,000 schoolgirls, the players themselves can't hear the whistle on the field, so it's linked to a radio contraction which, in fact, amplifies the noise of the whistle so that the players themselves can hear. This certainly doesn't happen in any other sport, but it happens here at Wembley. Let's hold to Suyav. Kim Gordon. Good run by Kim Gordon. Here's her centre. And Dinty Stewart clearing yet again for Scotland. And a penalty corner awarded for turning in the circle. And this will be England's ninth penalty corner of the match. They've only scored from one. And they're taking it from the right-hand side. And here comes the shot from Val Robinson, saved by Ginty Stewart. Another crack of the whip, and it's there! It's there! No, it's, been, it's not been allowed because, again, turning in the circle, I think the England players still think it was a goal, some of them, but it's not. It's been disallowed for turning on the ball in the circle, but it was a tremendous reverse pitch shot. And yet another penalty corner. And they're sticking to the right-hand side. And it's going to be the captain, Margaret Suyav, who's pushing the ball out. Val Robinson, here's a shot right on the edge of the circle. Can she get another one in? She's on the line, she's got to square it back. And another penalty corner for a kick in front of the goal. So now England's penalty corners well into double figures, 11 now. And they've only scored from one. And so they're changing sides and it's Mary Grimley who's going to hit out for Mary Eckersall to hand stop Sue Slocum with the shot but it's uh, reordered the defenders must stay behind that goal line before the ball is hit out they're not allowed to move off the line until the ball has been hit Grimley Eckersall with the hand stop but misses so the whistle goes and Scotland will relieve their lines once again Jill McIntyre herself, a hold of 42 caps for Scotland, hit the ball way upfield. Barbara Holden inside to Rosie Sykes. Whistle is gone. Now, can Scotland get into the England half? Yes, they can. They're picked up by Holden. Holden, that's a fine pass to Valerie Robinson. Robinson on her own now, into the circle. She's beaten the goalkeeper, here's her shot, and she's scored. What a magnificent goal by Val Robinson and this crowd going simply delirious with excitement and delight at their favourite and Val Robinson without any doubt has been the star of this England side for many many years and what a magnificent occasion on which to score a goal like that now let's have a look at that goal we can see it from the time the movement started ironic the pass came from the first moment that uh, Scotland got into England's half Barbara Holden through to Val Robinson and here's all the skill and experience and brilliance of a Great Britain star as she gives a goalie no chance rounds her and cracks the ball into the far side of the goal England lead 2-0 Scotland clearing their lines once again Janet Burrows coming across, she'll sit the ball into touch for a Scotland push in, but the seconds now ticking away and that'll be dangerous play, that was undercut, lifted into the circle and there goes the whistle for full time and this crowd going mad here England having won this game by two goals to nil and there is Val Robinson who first played here in 1963, 17 years ago, after which she was ceremoni ceremoniously dropped from the England side. She's got her 121st cap here today, and what a performance. A school teacher from Figglesway in Hertfordshire was captain in 72, and she's had a marvellous game, and a great victory for England, and England have won 
by two goals to nil. So this tremendous crowd here, and I would say that 63,000 out of the 65,000 are haggis bashers. And England have won by two goals to nil. And they'll all go